Warren looking to fill that gap. Harvick fleeting. Harvick still stays in front. Harvick up about a half a line. Around goes Harvick. Around goes Ty Dillon. And Matt Crafton's able to get through. Chase Elliott gets right in the side of Kevin Harvick. A lot of damage to the 88. The front of that 88 has a lot of damage to the left front. It's rubbing on that left front tire. So Matt Crafton's going to have to come to pit road now. Caution has come out again. Push comes to shove. Look who winds up second. Jeff Burton, Jeff Burton and also John, Johnny Sauter Johnny up as well. Yeah. Up in the mix. And Johnny will restart in the third position on the inside. See Kevin Harvick and Ty Dillon going at it on the back straight. Not happy about this restart. And the way they were racing. And around the three is trying to get that get 14 turn around. Don't get the bad end of it here. I think he's trying to spin him out. He hadn't any luck yet, but it looks like he's not giving up. That'll probably earn both those drivers a visit, a trip to the NASCAR trailer after yep. this race. I think they're going to have to make a visit, probably as, potentially. Probably as well as the RCR trailer, I would think. Well, we Pop said, Pop said, it's all take. All take, no give. Richard Childress. And you could just tell, Phil, the way Ty Dillon was charging the corner, that it was going to be all take. And he was going to try to use up Kevin to get that spot. And eventually down in turn one, Dillon to the bottom, gets a hold of Harvick, turns him around. Got him off the bottom of the racetrack, then tried to go by on the inside, but Kevin couldn't maintain control of it. And look at Chase Elliott, just blocked. Nothing that kid could do. Looks like NASCAR is saying. Cruz coming out to try to talk with voice their displeasure with the 14 of Kevin Harvick. That's the three team that was out there. Harvick's got the window net down on that 14. I'm not sure if Kevin has the window net down or they took the window net down for him. He took it. He took uh, it, I down. it was down. He's parked right in front of the three so the three can't get in its stall. The officials doing his best to maintain order doing a great job actually to get those guys away from the truck and once again the hard part to to comprehend is that's a 3400 pound truck that these guys are messing with right now and into the garage goes the 14 of harvick he'll call it a day the 88 of matt craft and a lot of damage to the left front of that truck got caught up in this incident they pull the fender away from the left front. They'll send him back out on the track. They want to keep him on the lead lap. Harvick's out of the truck. There's a lot of crew guys scrambling to get to where Kevin's at. Most of them are in the NTS uniforms to make sure they... They're going to stand guard. Stand around their driver. Get it out of here. That won't work. No, that's... Yep. So they will congregate in the infield area of Martinsville. Crew members coming together, not only from the three team of Ty Dillon, but also the 14 of Kevin Harvick. The three of Ty Dillon still trying to complete this race. His team's going to work on that. And right now, Bob Dillon is caught up with Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick, uh, interesting incident, what happened? Uh, three just dumped me. Uh, exactly the reason why I'm leaving RCR because you got those kids coming up and they got no respect for uh, what they do in this sport and they've had everything fed to them with a spoon. So um, I cut him slack all day and, you know, he just drives, dive bombs me in there, uh, dumps me. So just got to thank all these Anderson Syrup guys uh, for everything that they do. It's a shame you got to get taken out by some rich kid like that. Of course, the. The move from Richard Childress Racing for Kevin Harvick, starting in 2014. Harvick running for a championship with RCR right now in the Cup Series. Yeah, these, these, those guys will be, that's Richard Childress, Ty Dillon's. This is, what, this is what Kevin's talking about, though. An aggressive three of Ty Dillon getting in there, trying to take that spot away. And Matt Crafton with nowhere to go was right behind him, and that, he actually turned the three around. See Matt, they get seized up there. Matt was being pushed from behind by the yep. four of Jeff Burton. That's what we've talked here from Kevin Harvick's on board. 
I think that first bump's what, you know, one thing, and then just turning them after that is probably why Kevin was, was so upset. But we saw that angle, Phil. We talked about it. And but see, he had some help, see, too. Yeah, the hard part there is that they won't understand, or at least Kevin Harvick's not going to understand, is the three was being pushed by the 88 because everybody was piling up behind him. But how much of the damage was?